we're asked to find the height of a cylinder with a volume of 16 pi n to the fifth and a base whose radius is 2n. So just as a little bit of review of how you find the volume of a cylinder, let me draw a cylinder here. So if that is the top of my cylinder, and that is the height of, no, let me, I'm not drawing it as straight as I could. If that is the height of my cylinder, and if the cylinder was transparent and you could see the base, you could see the base, which is just like the top of it, it would look something like that. Let me actually draw that second one, the dotted line, to show you that, that you would only see it if our cylinder was transparent. That's our cylinder. The volume of a cylinder, if the height is h, so if our height of our cylinder is h, and that if you had an area of either the top or the bottom, either the base or the top of it, of a, the volume of your cylinder, your volume of your cylinder is going to be equal to the height times the area of the top or the base, depending on how well you, if you turn this over, this would be the base, times the area of the base. Now, what do they tell us here? They tell, they, we want to find the height. They say find the height. So we need to solve for h. This is what we don't know of a cylinder with a volume of 16 pi n to the fifth. So they tell us the volume. They tell us the volume is 16 pi n to the fifth. So that right there is 16 pi n to the fifth. And then they tell us a base whose radius is 2n. So they're not telling us the area, but they're telling us the radius. They're telling us that this radius right here, that that radius is 2n right over there. Now, if you know the radius of a circle, you know the area. And the, the top and the bottom, these are circles. That's what makes it a cylinder. These are circles. So if you know the radius, you know this area. Area is equal to pi r squared, pi r squared, one of the first uh, things we learn in geometry. And so in this situation, it would be equal to pi. Our radius, they tell us, is 2n. So pi times 2n squared, and we know this is the same thing. So area is equal to, what is this, pi times 2 squared, which is 4, times n squared, 4n squared. Or if we just rearranged it, area is equal to 4 pi n squared. So that's the area. That's right over there. And so now we can solve for h. We have 16 pi n to the fifth. That's our volume. That is equal to? our height times the area, times the area of the base or the top of our, of our cylinder, times 4 pi n squared. Now, a good place to start if we're trying to solve for h, or actually it'll get us right there immediately, is let's divide both sides of this equation by 4 pi n squared. So you divide the right side by 4 pi n squared. Divide the left side by 4 pi n squared. You have to do it to both sides. On the right-hand side, these cancel out. That was the whole point. And you are left with h is equal to this thing over here. We can simplify this a good bit. We have a pi divided by a pi, so those cancel out. We have a 16 divided by 4. That cancels out to a 4 divided by a 1, or just a 4. And then you have an n to the fifth over n squared. So when you have an exponent in the denominator, you can subtract it from the exponent in the numerator. So this is going to be 4, 4 right here. That's or 4 over 1. I'll just write it as 4. The pi's disappeared times n to the 5 minus 2 power, which is 3, n to the third power. And we're done. The height of the cylinder is 4n, 4n to the third power.